In this lesson, we're going to learn how to import footage and how to organize those footage. So right here, I'm in the Filmora workspace. I went ahead and created a project just like we learned in the previous lesson. In the Filmora workspace, your media, the stuff that you import from your computer is going to show up in the My Media tab. And once you click on it, we have a bunch of other folders that we briefly went over in the previous lessons. But generally, whatever you import is going to show up in here. Now we're going to see how we can organize them in a minute, but let's go ahead and learn how we can import footage into our Filmora project. So there are different ways that you can do this. The first way is to go up in File and then come down to Import Media. Once you go there, you have different options. Import Media Files, Media Folder, Import from External Device, import with instant cutter tool. Let's just click on import media files and you will get your browser and you get to just go over the place that you want to import things in. I'm just going to go ahead and import this GIF file. You can see the extension is .gif. Open and there's my file. So this went directly into my project media. So that was one way that you can import. Another way is to go over here it says import right here. Click that once and you're once again brought to this uh, browser. I'm going to get a video this time. There we go. This was a GIF file. This was a video file. Another way to import is to just open your browser, uh, your finder or file explorer, and just click and drag your footage onto your project media. Now we have three. Let's look at another way, which is to just go over here, hit import. And it's the same as going up here. And this time we're just going to get another video. There we go. Another way is to right click on your project media, hit import. And once again, we're brought to this tab. Hit OK. And now I have successfully imported five things into my project. I will also go ahead and import Another thing, we got two pictures. I'm going to import them. So as you can see, we imported three different formats for our uh, project. We had a GIF file, we had two video files, four video files actually, and two images. So apart from this, you can also import folders, meaning that uh, you have a folder in your computer labeled something and you get to import all of those in at the same time without having to do it one by one like we did here. So I'm just going to delete all of these, select them all, right click, delete. And if you want to import folders, you cannot do it uh, like this. If I click here, I cannot get a folder. Let me go to videos. You can see I don't have the option. I have to get them one by one, which is okay for a number of footage like this because I can simply just click and drag and get them all. But let's say you have like 50 uh, items in one folder, it would be kind of difficult to just click and drag them all. So to import a folder, just go to File, Import, Import Media Folder. This time you will be able to get a whole folder opened up. A great thing about this is that it keeps that as a folder, so it's more organized. Let's say I want my videos in here going to uh, import something else. Let's say this image. There we go. So this image was already in that folder. If I double click on my folder, this image is here. But this way I get to keep things more organized and just make my editing process easier. That's how you can import folders. We can also import from external devices. If you have a USB or a hard drive, you can just uh, click on this and it will open it up. Right now we have nothing plugged in, so if I do that, no device detected. But if you did have something, it would show up here and you get to save it to your local device first so that once you unplug that external device, your project, nothing happens to it. So first you would save it to something and then you can just import it like that. You can check it all and filter through the pictures, live photos, or videos. Okay. So let's hit cancel. We also have something called the instant cutter, which you probably saw right here. 
right here, Instant Cutter Tool. This also shows up when you first launch Filmora. So I'm just gonna close this. And over here you can see Tools, Instant Cutter. Let's go back into project. This is a great tool because you get to quickly create videos without having to come to the workspace. And we're just gonna take a look at it. So import media, import with Instant Cutter Tool. This is what the window looks like. You're going to first import your footage into this tool. Open file, I'm gonna go into videos and get, let's say this footage. There we go. So I have this little timeline where I can just comb through and find the part where I want uh, in my finalized project. So I can just trim whatever I don't need. Let's say this is the only part I want. And then you could just hit uh, export. You can choose where you want it to be saved. And then you can either just export the file as it is or upload it to Filmora. So that means that once I hit okay, I will get that segment alone for my project. You can see that we only got a small bit of this video and this is how long the original video is. Let's go back in the Instant Cutter tool. I'm gonna get that video again. Let's go for something else this time. So if I'm just trying to cut and trim a part of my video, I can do that like we saw. Let's say I have a really long video that I need to cut into parts and um, then upload them. Let's say this is part one of my really long video. Once I have defined it, I'm going to hit add segment. It shows up right here. I can rename this, call it part one. Click away. And then I have the rest of this, which I can add as a whole, or I can just go ahead and make this into two parts. Add segment again. Let's call it part two. Okay, and we have this little bit left. Just call it part three. Once I am finished, I have all these parts. We can hit export. If you accidentally made extra segments, you can go ahead and delete them. There's a trash icon right here. We have part one, part two, part three, and I accidentally ended up making this one. So I'm just gonna hit this, and now we have three parts. Let's go ahead and export this. Again, you get to choose the location and whether you wanna continue editing in Filmora or you just want these as they are. To desktop, do nothing, hit okay. And there it is in three separate parts. But let's say I wanna continue editing in Filmora. Then I would have to hit export down here, uh, choose this, hit okay. And now these three parts are in my project media, which I can just drag on here. And I have them in separate parts. So as you can see, it saves you a lot of time. Now let's look at the merge option. Right now we were working with the trim option, instant cutter tool. Now we're going to go to the Merge tab. We were in here all this time, Merge. And you need to choose two videos or more that you want to stitch together. So I'll grab this video, Control or Command, get my second video, and I'm just gonna hit Open. There we are. So I have two clips right here. You can add or remove uh, as you want. Add here, remove here. Once you're done, hit Export. Give it a name, let's call it plants. Save it to your desired location. And over here you get to choose whether you want this as your finalized product or you wanna upload it to Filmora, the workspace here, to continue working with it. So let's first uh, put it there to my desktop and there it is. I'm gonna open it up. We can see that we have the first video. Here we have the second video. So that was pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and export it to Filmora, export, upload to Filmora. Call it plants again, plants two, hit okay. And here's my plants two. Put it right here. We have the first clip and the second clip. Just gonna go ahead and delete all of those. There we go, I'm just gonna delete all of these. So those were ways that you can import different types of uh, files. Like you saw, it doesn't really matter what format you import it, whether it's a music, a sticker, a picture, 
importing footage into your Filmora project is done the same way. Uh, now let's go ahead and just delete these. There we go. I'm going to import my footage separately, so not as a folder. And now I have different types of footage in my project media. And if I have way too much, this can be a bit hard for me to look at. Maybe I just want to work with the stuff that are related to sprouts. And later I want to work with things that are related to cards. So to organize your footage in your project, you can make folders. So I'm just going to click on my project media and hit this guy. So now underneath my project media, I have folder number one. I'm going to call this cars, hit enter. And if I want to make something uh, underneath cars, like in the cars folder, I can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do something like cars two. And now cars two is inside cars. Let's see. But if I want to make another folder in the project media, I would have to click that first and then hit this. So it's not going inside the cars folder. Let's call this sprouts. So you can see these are separate. I'm going to click this again and make another one for shopping. And there we go. So you can make folders inside folders like we did here, or you can just make uh, general folders underneath your project media. You can hide them or show them by hitting this little triangle. So now I can either re-import my footage into these folders by just clicking on this and getting the stuff that are related to Sprouts. I'm going to get one of them. There we go. Or I can just open this up and get my other Sprout video, click and drag it into Sprouts. So now I have an organized folder dedicated to my Sprout videos, and I can just do the same thing. You can see they show up here as well. I can do the same thing with my car videos. So car number one, I'm gonna hold down Command or Control if you're on Windows, click and drag it, first open this up, click and drag it into cars. If you want to import something into Cars 2, you can. And I'm just going to rename this. Right click, rename. Let's call this uh, GIF. So I can just get my GIF video. Let's open it here. GIF video and put it straight in here. Like so. You can't move things uh, here. These are the folders. So if you want to move them from your uh, general folder into these named ones. You would have to click and drag it on this side, not on here. So we got shopping, put them in here. And now I have an organized workspace. So now if I want to edit with uh, whichever uh, category, I could just go on each one. Let's double click on Sprouts. I'm going to get my Sprout video. Uh, let's keep the project settings. There we go. And then we get, I'm going to go back here. Let's get something from the shopping tab, this image. I'm going to put it right next to it. Go to my cars and I want to work with the GIF. So I would have to click more and get my GIF. So now I have uh, three videos from three separate folders put into my project. Now, while we're here, you saw the message earlier where it asked me to, um, let's delete this. Let's go to Sprouts. So this message, you saw that I just directly dragged a video from my project uh, files into my uh, timeline, and I'm getting this message. The resolution or frame rate of this media does not match the setting of this project. Do you want to change the project setting to match this media? So basically what it's asking us to do is to change whether we want to change the uh, dimensions and the frame rate of our project to match this media. So the media is quite large, the dimensions, you can see the width and the height compared to what we have now, which is 1920 by 1080. And it's also asking us whether we want to change the FPS, which stands for frames per second which as you can see is higher than the one we have right now. So this really depends on uh, what kind of 
project you're doing. If quality matters to you, then you would want to change it. And uh, changing that does make the exported file larger than if you were to keep it low. So I'm going to keep it at this right now. And now my project is just bigger. Let me put this here. Another way that you can change your project settings is by going up into File, Project Settings, or hitting F12. So when you first make a, a project with Filmora, you don't get the option for frame rate, and you get to change it here. Normally, you would just stick with the, uh, the basic, which is 1920 by 1080, if you chose the uh, widescreen option up here, which we went over. If you chose this one, this would be 1920 by 1080, and the rest have their own dimensions. But for uh, the FPS, we get to change it to the media's FPS, which in our case was 30, and we changed it. Or we can just go to File, Project Settings to change it up. If you have a special, uh, specific number and dimension in mind, you could do it like so. And frame rate is basically how many frames, how many still images are in a single second of video. But when you're uh, importing high quality content, I would recommend changing the FPS to whatever this uh, video has, which in our case is 30. We're going to learn all about FPS and speed in further lessons. We also have the option for photos library. This is on Mac. But basically, you can open up your photos library, which is connected to your iCloud, and just directly import things. Let me just drag one in. And there we go. So this was on my iCloud, and I was able to just drag it onto my project. And that was how you can import and organize files in Filmora.